Uh, I'm just gonna read because I'm not. Uh, these guys kick ass on this. <laughs> oh. Safe word. <laughs> Thank you for everybody for coming. It's been a difficult year with many uncertainties. At times, I wondered if we could even make this happen, but here we are. My Jess, in my eyes, she is still my my firstborn, my little baby girl, giggling in her bassinet. But now she is this beautiful, young, successful woman you all see here today. Jess was a happy kid and an easygoing teenager, for which I was truly a blessed father for, especially the teenage part. <laughs> One of my favorite parts of her childhood was when she wanted to ride on my shoulders all the time. There are many long days at Disney where she would be on my sunburnt shoulders because I was the guy who didn't wear sunblock when I take it off. <laughs> but I didn't mind because my baby girl was happy. Some other favorite mo memories were her birthday parties, where we would get a bouncy house, and I, I would go in the bouncy house with her and her brother and bounce. Sometimes I would break the bouncy house, <laughs> and they would collapse, and I would scare them. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I didn't do any permanent damage. <laughs> At least that's what my therapist said. <laughs> Over the years, Jess and I have shared a lot of milestones together, from her two back surgeries, to her graduating college, to her starting her career. These last six years have been the best of my life. Throughout the course of these years, Jess and I have been able to work together, which gave us an opportunity to have many father-daughter talks and be able to sp spend a lot of time together, one on one time together, further strengthening our bond. Every year I would see her grow into this amazing young woman that she is today. I was, I was blessed to be able to witness this and be a part of watching her grow. I don't think a father can ask for much more than that. So being here as her father, giving her away, this was one of the most memorable and important moments of my life. I have the confidence to say that she is ready for this commitment in the next stage of her life. Jess, I am so proud of you. I love you. And I will always be your rock that you can have. And then there was Aiden. <laughs> I first met Aiden at the Paris airport, where there were a lot of young adult kids there that day. I noticed this guy, Aiden, but I felt, from what I could see, he might have some interest in Jess. <laughs> However, from what I could tell from watching Jess, she seemed to be a little bit standoffish. <laughs> As I talked to Aiden, I realized that he and I shared many interests which we shared, we started talking about off-roading and I thought he seemed to be my kind of guy. So I told Jess, he's a good looking kid and he likes off-roading stuff too. <laughs> she then proceeds to tell me she was not interested in dating, so I left it at that. <laughs> Fast forward to a month later, I was planning a camping trip with my friends and Jess said she wanted to bring Aiden. <laughs> I asked, I thought you weren't interested in dating anyone. <laughs> and she told me they were just talking. <laughs> in my head, I'm like, what does talking mean? <laughs> so, so a couple days later, That's I was awesome. in my buddy's garage talking about camp the camping trip. And I told them that Jess is bringing this friend, Aiden, that she's talking to. <laughs> so I'm thinking, I might kind of like this kid. And we started discussing how we were going to get him drunk. <laughs> verbally abuse him. <laughs> While we were devising our plan to harass him, my buddy's daughter walked in and asked, and I asked her, what does talking mean? <laughs> She's, well, kind of like dating, but not dating. So my daddy senses were going, starting to go crazy. <laughs> so I went home that night and told Jess, there will be no talking to my mother. And she said, yeah, okay, Dad. <laughs> Finally, the camping, camping trip was here. I told Aiden, he can stay with us, but there will be no talking. <laughs> he, too, had 
the same look on his face as Jess did. <laughs> like I was a crazy man, but he politely said, okay, Mr. Eagles. <laughs> so we were camping, everything was going great, around the campfire, we're getting Aiden and his friends drunk. All the verbal abuse is going great too. <laughs> then my, my wife calls Aiden over to the motorhome. They talk for a few minutes. Then he came back to the campfire. I asked, what did she say? Aiden said, basically, she said she would end me if I threw up in her motorhome. <laughs> yeah. Needless to say, Aiden slept in the back of his truck <laughs> that evening, and I didn't have to worry about any talking. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Great plan. <laughs> So after that weekend, I asked Jess if we could keep Aiden. <laughs> and she said yes. Aww. So here we are today. I, I've been fortunate enough to witness Jess and Aiden as a couple firsthand. We have lived together, we have worked together, and we have partied together. I have also had the pleasure of watching Jess and Aiden grow into two extraordinary individuals, as well as an amazing couple who complement each other in of each other's strengths and weaknesses. I know they have what it takes to succeed in this marriage. Please raise your glass with me as we toast Aiden and Jess Robinson. I love you.